Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Sam's Activity Corner. So today we're going to be doing a little holiday activity that you can go ahead and um, do with your children at home uh, during this winter break. Now this is going to be something simple and more of a sensory activity that you can do uh, with your children. And these materials you can go ahead and find um, at your local uh, dollar store, um, supermarket, or craft store here. Um, all you would need is a Ziploc bag, some pipe cleaners, a clear hair gel, pom-poms, and some googly eyes here, and um, a permanent marker. And this is what we're gonna go ahead and start doing. So, first off, what you can do is go ahead and get um, any Ziploc bag. Um, it doesn't have to be name brand. Um, and one way you can go ahead and take the, the brand off of the bag is just use any um, rubbing alcohol with a cotton swab or um, alcohol wipes, whatever it may be. And you could just simply wipe it off so you can have the clear Ziploc bag. And again, it could either be um, any size. It can be gallon size, half a gallon, quart, um, just as long as it's big enough so for you to go ahead and draw the beginning of a reindeer. And what I can go ahead and do is provide a, a copy of the reindeer and I can go ahead and send that to you in an email and PDF. All you would have to do is uh, print it out and you can copy and trace or just freehand it. Um, it could be whatever reindeer you wanna make it be. So let's go ahead and get started. So after you draw your reindeer on this bag, um, you would go ahead and fill this up with some clear hair gel. and. This, again, I got this at the Dollar Tree. It was a um, dollar uh, for one of them. And it, you can go ahead and just use the whole bottle. Um, since I'm using the gallon, I am gonna be using the, the whole bottle. But if you have a smaller Ziploc bag, you can go ahead and just um, eyeball it and see as long as it can cover the entire uh, drawing. So close it and smash it on. So as you see here, when you're smashing it, you could, as long as it covers the entire drawing here, perfect. Now you can go ahead and add in red pom pom for Rudolph's nose, some pipe cleaners. And for adults, um, you would need to have um, some adult supervision while you're doing this activity with your children, um, just so you can get the proper size to go ahead and um, make the antlers for the reindeer. And while doing this activity, I was like, although it may be fun and it's a um, cool and inexpensive activity you can do at home with um, your kids, um, there is some educational backgrounds to this activity. So while doing this, it's more of like, again, a sensory activity. And by doing this, the children are working on their perceptional motor skills by increasing control, uh, strength, and coordination of small muscles. So by using their hands, so once you close everything in, it'll look like this. Um, and you can go ahead and the children will then use this and place the pom-poms, put the googly eyes there, antlers, move it around and place them to wherever they want to be. Um, it, by using the perceptional uh, information to guide motion and interactions with objects and other people. So like I said, it was like this perceptional skill or motor skill is um, helping them identify where their two eyes go, um, where his nose would go, and giving them the, that depth perception as well. And it also works on cognitive, cognitive skills, such as um, the recognizing the number of objects in a small set. So again, we have just, we have two antlers, two eyes, and a nose. And you can go ahead and add in more um, just to make it fun. It was like, again, it doesn't have to be a specific reindeer it can be any special reindeer with uh, multiple pom-poms um, if it could have three eyes if you wanted to have it um, and by using like standard and non-standard measurements um, this is also working on the children's cognitive skills and lastly while doing this uh, activity it really is building on the social and emotional development um, skills of your child as well um, because they're cooperating with adults and um, with other children and um, it also has a problem solving as well, because for example, if uh, you're missing an eye or um, it happens um, 
it, it just so happens that there a, a hole gets punctured um the child will then have to do you can help the child do some problem solving and um try to go on with the activity and making and um, gauging their their way to problem solve and to um, help resolve the the issue but in the end they'll have some fun and create their little sensory activity with reindeer now in the theme of hol um of the holiday spirit um another activity we can do is create reindeer food and this is a little bit more fun but um you can go ahead and make reindeer for whichever um, edible um, and safe nutrition uh, snacks you have at home. You can use Cheerios, um, any sort of cereal, oatmeal, um, but just make sure you stick to edible uh, food when you're putting this inside of the reindeer food because we don't want to accidentally put glitter or pom-poms and have your little one eat uh, the reindeer food. So for mine, I'm actually going to be putting in some frosted flakes. And this is just a fun activity they could do for, for the holidays. And um, they can place it outside um, and then have them as a, a reindeer food. So when, or if a reindeer should happen to come over the holidays, they'll be ready. So I'll have just some M&Ms and some, some frosted flakes here. And you can have them in, again, place it in the house or put it outside um, and, um, you'll have your little snacks so any rangers could come by. Um, I'll go ahead and list any materials that you might need again for this activity, but um, thank you so much for joining us and um, I hope you enjoy these activities. Thanks, bye.